What's up folks, so in the video you're about to watch, uh, you're going to hear me refer to this fan as the Ford Taurus fan. I do not believe that it's actually a Ford Taurus fan, so a little bit of background. I didn't actually pull this fan myself, I actually uh, found it laying inside of a car and I just picked it up. It looked like what I was looking for and I just grabbed it and considered that to be a bonus. I tested it at home, it worked as you guys will see. Um, and I just thought it was a Taurus fan, but after looking at pictures, I think the Taurus fan is actually a little bit smaller than what I have, and it should technically be almost a direct fit with some slight modifications. Um, but as you'll see in this video, I had to do a lot of trimming in order to get this fan to work. So if anybody happens to know what type of fan it is that I'm actually using, definitely shout it out and let me know because I'm interested in case I have to buy another one or in case somebody else might want to know. So um, just to throw out a number for you, the Ford Taurus fan is known to move about 2,000 CFM, uh, and that's the air that it pulls through your radiator. The fan that I have is most likely something bigger, and it's pulling even more. So all the issues that I was having with my car not being able to actually cool down once it was heated up, um, that's history. And this, this fan is actually working way better. So enjoy the video, check it out, and if you know what the fan is, definitely let me know. Thanks. So we're back at home base and we're going to do a little test fit on the OEM radiator uh, because it's the exact same size and we're going to do that before we actually crack the hood open on the Mustang just to see how these things measure up. So this is the OEM fan shroud and as you can see it's not an exact match. It's a couple inches wider so the fan shroud sits on there and has a little bit of space to play with. Um, this new fan shroud actually sits slightly wider, so I will have to make a couple of modifications to it. So as you can see, this is how it sits on here. So it's not all the way flush, and I definitely want to get it as flush as possible. So I'll probably have to cut out here um, so that it's not so close to the radiator tube. And I'm not quite sure yet. It actually fits pretty good as it is, but um, as you can see, this port here is a little bit covered up, so I'll have to make relief cuts for the parts that you see. But before that, um, we're going to hook this thing up to the battery and see if it actually runs. I don't have the other fans here at the moment, but um, as soon as Chayton drops those off, you'll get to see those. In the meantime, there's something that always gets asked about every time it pops up in the background of my video which is this guy over here. So let's go take a look at the Rolls Royce. So this is a 1997 Lincoln Rolls Royce. As you can see, it says Rolls Royce right there on the front end of it. And that's good uh, Italian craftsmanship. Uh, it's got bling 20 inch bling rims on it. Uh, you know, some, some great Rolls-Royce uh, steering wheel, if you can see inside. The, uh, that's Rolls-Royce patina on the side of there. And, uh, you know, great fitment. Nice uh, top work for you there. And that's what the trunk of the Rolls-Royce looks like. So, it's really nice to have exotic things like this in your neighborhood. Rolls-Royce limo because Rolls-Royce doesn't do tents. So now you guys have seen it and you know what that's all about. Woo. <laughs> all right, that fan definitely pulls a lot of air. It's definitely a good fan. Okay, so we're running into a little bit of an issue here. Um, so as you can see, there's a clearance issue. The fan is about three quarters of the way in, and it looks like we, we're, we're not gonna clear the water pump pulley. So what we're gonna have to do is pull this shroud out and start taking material off of it and get this thing to slide down into place. So what I'm gonna do is start by chopping off these mounting tabs first because the fan shroud is wider than the uh, actual area, uh, radiator area. 
um, and I'm just going to figure out how to mount this thing later on. I can easily make mounts for it. So those are going to come off first, and then the next thing I need to do is reduce the profile of this thing. So what I'm going to do is actually chop into this lip here and try to reduce that some. So. Okay, so what has happened here is I basically went nuts with it. I started out with some lines that I made in tape, which I didn't show on camera. I taped those off, I made those trimmings, and then I just started trying to cut everything off that I could possibly cut off uh, in order to make this thing have a good fit. So, All right, so we're almost in the car with it. Um, as you can see, it's just slightly wider than the radiator area on this side and it's still just coming in contact with the water pump. All right, pulley. so now after a whole lot of trimming, the uh, radiator shroud is actually ready to go in and it's fitting really well. So if you take a look, it slides down like so into place. It fits right in between the grooves on the radiator on both sides. Uh, the only thing that I regret is that I have this gap here, but I can actually pull that closer and close up that gap a little bit. And that's how it'll be. Now that the fan is all fitted and the paint is uh, dry enough to touch, we're going to go ahead and drill two holes and we're going to match that up with the holes that are already pre-drilled in the radiator and then we're going to go ahead and mount it up with racing ties. And I just punctured my radiator. So now my brand new radiator is patched up with water weld. Uh, this stuff is really great. It should hold, uh, but that was incredibly stupid what I did, and I feel like an idiot. Well, hopefully it holds. Now I've taken the radiator out of the car and drilled my other hole, and I'm probably going to end up doing two more holes, and uh, then we're going to fasten it from the bottom. So the radiator is all mounted up now up top. As you can see, we have our nice racing ties holding it up in place. Um, Later on, I'm going to fasten the bottom and actually connect two wires to the plug that you see down there. But I don't have the connectors to do it right now, and um, it's not really much to watch. So we're creeping along here in the famous DC traffic. We're not really moving too much on this side, and as you can see, the temperature is lower than low. We're doing really well right now. So the coolant issues are solved. Good news. 